Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to manually disable archive accounts. In this tutorial, I will go over how to disable an account from being archived. I'll also go over how to disable login access for that user to personal.cloud and discovery.cloud. There are three prerequisites to complete today's training. The first is having access to a supported browser, which is either Internet Explorer 11, Microsoft Edge, or Mozilla Firefox. The next is that you have an administrator level account with either system administrator and or account manager access rights assigned to it. The last prerequisite is that your organization is managing account provisioning manually using the managed console application. Okay, so provided that I have all the prerequisites, I'll start by going to my management console. This is the management console. Let's take a look at the number of actual users I have by looking at the top of the screen. We can see here that I have 12 users with personal archive and 14 users are discoverable. In order to reduce these numbers, I'll need to disable the services. Let's start by going over how to disable personal.cloud and discovery.cloud access. I'll first select account management found under my config on the upper left hand side of the screen. From the account management screen, I'll choose all the accounts that I would like to disable login access. Now I'll click on Archives, then Remove Users. We can see now that there are two options, Disable DA Access and Disable PA Access. Since I want to remove both, I'll keep them both selected and then select OK. Now we can see the PA and DA Access is set to No for these users. Let's go back to the Archive Overview to see the number of users after I disable the services. Notice how the personal archive total number reduced by two but the discovery archive number did not. In order to bring the discoverable user count down, I'll need to disable the account from archiving. So let's take a look at how that can be accomplished. I'll go back to account management and select an account to disable. On the accounts page, I'll select edit on the bottom right hand corner. Now, under status, I'll set the account to disabled. Then, I'll click save. That's it. Now, let's go back and look at our number of users from the Archive Overview page. Now the number of discoverable users has reduced by one. That's great, but what if we wanted to disable multiple accounts at one time without doing this manually? In order to bulk disable accounts, you must open a support case with Veritas, where our customer care team can perform this task for you. It's also important to note that if you disable an account manually, emails for that account will no longer be archived. If you wish to have the emails go to the unassigned legacy mailbox, then please open a support case so that our customer care team can disable the account while making the necessary changes to have emails archived to the unassigned legacy mailbox. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Remember, if you ever have any questions about Enterprise Vault.cloud, you can always reach out to our 24 by 7 by 365 support line, or you can go to the Veritas support website. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.